Okay. So I'm up pretty early this morning. Good Sunday. <laughs> and I just had um, a few minutes to make my coffee and look out at the garden. And I saw a bird and I thought, hmm, we don't have as many birds this year nesting. And I wonder why that is. Although I'm suspicious there's two rabbit nests. And then I also remembered that, you know, I saw a fluff of feathers, meaning that a mother robin that I had been seeing is no more. So it just kind of got me thinking about life and death and things coming into being and beings trying to reproduce themselves or to bring something into the world you know so it's not just humans who have plans <laughs> birds do um if we're alive if we're alive um we have a common experience the experience of being and all living beings have this experience. If it's alive, there is a, the beingness that it can't, it's not human, but it's something. And we share that. And being human also means that we have the gift of communication. It's very well developed, right? Um, most of the time, I think humans communicate about as effectively as dogs communicate with dogs. <laughs> I think most of us are at that level where most of our communications, most of the time, are clear, not because they're clear, but because they're expected. And so in this little think aloud, my realization is the reason my PhD work is not clear to my supervisors is because they're unexpected. I'm not doing what is expected. I'm not writing or saying what is expected and that tickles me i love it <laughs> that's okay all right i'm gonna stop now and read a little bit more lama yeshe for myself